only on News 6 tonight, a hands-on, up-close, in-depth look at the next spacesuits that astronauts will wear when they walk on the moon for the Artemis 3 mission. News 6 was in Houston last week for the announcement of the Artemis 2 crew and got a special invite to Axiom Space, which is based in Houston. They are one of two commercial space companies hired by NASA to build the new suits. New Six's space expert, Eric Von Anken, discovered what goes into making this quarter of a billion dollar space suit. All right. <clears throat> Welcome. Our tour began in Axiom's EVA offices in Houston. EVA stands for extravehicular activity, NASA's term for anything astronauts do outside their spacecraft in space suits. So this is where we've been making uh, a lot of the prototype and test hardware that we've been developing so far. So it was fitting that our tour guide was Axiom's EVA deputy program manager, Russell Ralston. How did everyone here at Axiom figure out or learn what works in space and on the moon? Yeah, great, great question. So we, we've actually hired a lot of the industry's kind of foremost experts. Helping land a $228 million deal last year with NASA to build these, the spacesuits, for the next EVA on the moon. I can't even begin to imagine how many things you had to think of to build into this. Yes, that, that's one of the things I actually personally love and enjoy about working on spacesuits is a spacesuit is really a spacecraft. And that is what makes the new suit so expensive and so complex because it has to do so many things. Protect an astronaut from temperature swings of 400 degrees depending on where the walking is happening on the moon. We don't want to have, you know, discomfort or frostbite or anything else. Yeah, freezing so, or boiling. Right. The suit has to be insulated, yet it has to keep the astronaut cool. This is called a spacesuit water membrane evaporator. And this With space-aged mini filters that evaporate body heat into space. The life support system, that's the box on the back of the suit, Axiom can't show us theirs because it's proprietary, contains the filters and adds oxygen while removing carbon dioxide. That alone has taken Axiom years to perfect. This looks like a shoulder. And the biggest challenge has been mobility. The new suits have to be able to bend and twist and spin in all directions so astronauts can walk and work on the moon. But it's a very intensive program to make sure that when, no kidding, when, when astronauts step onto the lunar surface in an Axiom spacesuit, that, it, that it's, it's a, a very safe design and it's a design that's very high performing. Um, so, so that's a very important step in the process. You've got a lot on the line. We do have a lot on the line, yes. And besides building the next space suits, Axiom is also building the next space station. NASA has agreed to let Axiom build modules that will attach in space to the ISS. And then over the next few years, when the ISS is decommissioned, those modules will detach and form their own commercial space station, the first ever. The first module is scheduled to fly in 2025. In Houston, Eric Von Aiken getting results. New 6. Eric, thank you. Now, NASA, believe it or not, has set aside three and a half billion dollars for just spacesuits over the next decade. So Axiom is hoping to get a hold of a lot more of that money in the future.